Hi everyone, I am back with another Project MC Squared doll plus experiment review and this one is Cameron's skateboard featuring Cameron Coyle. This one is not so much of an experiment as it is a project because you get to build her skateboard and that's because Cameron is the builder of the bunch. Now don't be worried guys because I have not left Ever After High behind. It's just that my daughter's current obsession is Project MC Squared and before she can play with these I have to take footage and review them. So anyway, as you can see Cameron represents engineering and this side of her box shows blueprints and that really cool Aztec pattern which is repeated throughout her clothes. The other side of the box is her own saying which is nerds are cool. And the nerds are part is represented by Na or for sodium and C for carbon. They are periodic table elements, which I think is a very clever way of working that in. The doll comes with this skateboard that you can put her feet in. Her feet actually fit pretty nicely. The silvery plastic parts that represent the motor on her skateboard, obviously they don't work. Four wheels, a wrench, and an orange beaker comb. And here's Cameron. I love the little Aztec bandana she's got on. And um, I think she's very pretty, although she does not look like the actress who plays her, nor does she look Asian to me. And it's clear, I think, to me that the actress is meant to be Asian. She's wearing this cool orange bandeau top underneath a bright yellow sweater tank. And then these leggings underneath the, these cool uh, shorts. And nothing about her outfit matches. See, she even has these powder blue high top sneakers on which uh, she's not wearing anywhere else, but because of her confidence, she can pull it off. So I think that's cool. Her hair is kind of gelled um, and hard to separate here, as you can see. And it's got this russet reddish tone to it that I really like. Beautiful inset eyes and rooted lashes. Just a really, really cute doll. Um, like I said, I, I do think she should have looked a bit more Asian, but um, then I like the hot pink skull and crossbones that she's got on. And uh, I think that like the, the little Aztec pattern on her leggings is very cool. I like the gold chevrons on those um, gym shorts. And there's even these Aztec patterns on her um, high tops. So very cute doll. Her satchel is also these brightly colored Aztec uh, patterns. The satchel opens and you can put things inside if you want. And on her other wrist, she's wearing a hot pink bangle of some kind on her wrist. So I guess it just goes to show that if you're confident, you can pull off any look. As for her blueprints, um, you use water to activate them and you can see my little girls helping me um, hold the blueprints down. And so I took this uh, stencil sponge and I wet it and I'm just kind of painting it so you guys can see how the invisible ink starts to show up. Looks like we have it upside down. No worries, turn it right over. So I did this three times. There are three blueprints included and we built this skateboard. Skateboard's pretty cool except for one thing. There's one loose wheel on mine. So I'm going to show you that every time I um, push the skateboard anywhere, one wheel falls off. We take Cameron outside, we put her on her skateboard, she can stand up by herself, I push the skateboard and down she goes. Want to see that again? It's kind of sort of funny, but not really. Yeah, and then there you see the culprit, which is her broken off wheel. So my one complaint with this doll is that the doll that I got contained a defective wheel, but that's not to say you shouldn't go out and get her because you might not get the same defective skateboard that I got. Overall, I really like this line of dolls for promoting science, technology, engineering, art, and math. It's got my little girl really interested, and I think you should explore it also for your children. I want to thank you all for watching, and enjoy! 